one, we are going to be talking about uh, layering color. And the example that I have here today is colored pencil and the importance of it. Um, color is in real life isn't flat, it isn't just one solid color. You see the solid color, but because of light, you see different reflections, you see different intensities. And in art, you try to mimic that so that um, it becomes a more compelling piece of artwork. All right, so here's the video. Enjoy. All right, everybody, you can see that I'm using colored pencil. This is good for layering for colored pencil or even watercolor. So I'm lightly drawing my image out that I want. I'm doing still life. This is good for any kind of drawing that you're doing where you're using color. What I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how to not use black and to use the color spectrum to shade and to get more vibrant um, images. So here I started with the pop bottle and you see I'm layering blue down. The, the pop bottle is not blue, the pop bottle is green, but yellow and blue make green, so there we go. So I'm laying down my shadow work right now. That's what I'm doing. I'm not putting my midtones in there. I'm not thinking about my midtones. I'm thinking about the darkest areas and I'm blending it out. Next thing I'm gonna use is yellow. This will be going to my highlights. So I'm gonna blend all this together. So you can see I have my yellows in there. I'm still letting the white paper peek through. Now I'm going to my green. So I'm using a light green. That is my midtone. The dark green is going to come in later for adding more oomph to my shadows. So you can see I'm coloring it all in. I'm letting some of the yellow peek through because your eye will blend that together. But you can see how it's coming along nicely. You can see how the colors have changed. Now I'm using the dark green. And I am going to accentuate my shadows and fill in my shadows and gradate them out to where everything blends nicely together. That is a start. No black was used. And I can see from a distance that pops right out. Those are the colors I used. Oop, I'm messing with it. Because oh, I want to get a shot of all the colors that I used. I'm going to put them back in space. And then now, go into the brick. Starting with yellow, starting with a light color. Uh, bricks are kind of hard to do because they're a reddish brown. Normally you don't have a reddish brown in a 12 uh, set pencil set. So you have to blend the colors to get that brick color. Uh, yellow is pretty neutral so I go with that first. Inside darker so I'm going to start with an orange. So we have more of a color in there. I'm... Basically what I'm doing here is the same thing we started with sketchbooks with shading uh, 2D two-dimensional shapes uh, That's the basis of what I, I'm doing to shade here uh, Stuff that you've learned prior So I'm shading all that in I'm filling in the space with the orange. That's kind of gonna be my mid-tones I'm gonna use my shadows more to the last part of it Where the bottle I went with shadows right away. I wanted to accentuate my shadows right away the brown's going to be, that I'm going to use for this, is going to be the last step. So now I'm using red, blending that orange, making it more uh, red color. And then we're going to use a muted uh, brown, a lighter brown, but a more yellower brown. Uh, once we get the red in, to kind of help tone down the red and get it to a browner look. And then a dark brown for the last for the shadows. And to tie everything together. You can see, if, if I can get back in the shot... You can see that it's like a light brown uh, is what I'm using. Uh, this took me about, to color this took me a while to do. So you're seeing it in really fast uh, motion here and how it's coming together. So going, going again, we're letting the yellow peek through. We're letting a little bit of the orange peek through. We're letting a little bit of the red peek through. We're not just layering the brown color over top. We want all the colors to mix. So you have a nice, vivid, vibrant uh, piece of work that stands out. Now, dark brown. I'm going to go over my shadows, darken the other areas. Not using black at all to shade. You can use the color spectrum to shade. And you're going to get better results each and every time. Instead of using black or white as the main thing 
to get your highlights, to get your shadows, to get your depth. Using color will help you get there a lot better. So you can see here all the colors that I use, yellow, orange, red. I used a light brown and I used a dark brown. The dark brown is normally called like a burnt umber. And the light brown is kind of like a, a, a dark ochre or something to that extent. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a lot. Review the, the video if need be. Have a good one.